There's a new beta feature available in Confluence, the ability to create a database. This to me is pretty exciting because up until now in Confluence, I could have a table of things, but it was just a flat table. It wasn't very interactive. It was hard to sort by it, uh, use it for things like keeping track of my upcoming plans or posts or things I wanted to do. I could make do with it, but I'm really excited to see this database feature roll out in beta because I think it's going to solve a lot of challenges I've had uh, collecting information and managing it within Confluence. I know other products have a similar feature that I've been using for a while, so I'm glad to see Confluence adding it in. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. I did have to opt into this because it's in beta, but if I click plus, I can now add a database. It doesn't look much like any other page or blog in Confluence. I can see that there's a name in the top, so maybe I'll add some kind of name. Maybe I want to plan out a new course and I want to track the lessons. And then it comes with a couple of columns. I have text, a tags, and user. Up at the top, I can add a view, and I'll show you that after I've populated the database a bit. I can search through it. I have things like filters and sorting and hiding. And then the layout I can tinker with a bit. Do I want to see it by card, more like a board, etc. My three dot menu lets me do things like lock it or copy it if I need to. And then I can import or export by different types of formats. So again, if I have a spreadsheet that already has this in it, I could suck it in, and that would start out my database in Confluence. This little plus lets me add different types of fields. I can add another text field, so a description of the thing, numbers, dates, tags, at mention users, and links out. And then because it's in Confluence, I can link it to pages. This I particularly like because it will let me link to say product documentation or policies or notes or something else that is relevant to the entry in my table. Once it's linked, I can pull in things like the status or labels or details of the page. So I could use this as a project tracker in Confluence to quickly show me the status of other pages, for example. I can also link it to JIRA issues, and I'll do this in a moment, but giving me a similar view into JIRA to see how things are going. In my mind, this expands on the JIRA macros that we have, and now it lets me put it in tabular format and track information about it on the Confluence side of the house. And then if I have other databases, I can also link to those. So I've got another database example, but I can pull in entries from other places. So if I have other teams or other projects I need to track, I can pull in just parts of it. So here I'll say, I want a new course. Something about logging in. and maybe formatting. I can add tags, which every database is gonna have its own. So I might call this, you know, this will be on YouTube. And maybe this one I'll publish over on Udemy. And then it's gonna remember those so I can sort and filter by them. Now I can add mention users, maybe like an assignee, but I could go in and edit this and allow multiple people to show up in here and then have a quick description. So maybe I'll add that quick description in there just so I remember what this field is for. When I mouse over it, I'll get to see it so other folks can pop in here. In my mind, what would be even better is the ability to rename this field. So instead of calling it user, call it assignee, reporter, you know, responsible, something like that. Uh, but this is a good start. And then I'll add a plus and I want to add in maybe a page link. Now here I can give it a name. So instead I'll call this Confluence info, maybe I already have a page around this. And then I'll be able to go in here and pick the page that I want to link to this item. Once the page is linked, I can then add things like the status or labels, but I these won't do anything without that page link. Similarly, I could add Jira issues. I'll tie it to an instance, and then I could come in here and pick through an issue that I want to tie to it. So this is another way that Confluence and Jira are going to be more tightly integrated. I can quickly copy in information and then reference tickets or pages. Now, I did mention that we can link to other things. So if I add a field and go way to the bottom, I might have an entry link that ties into a separate database. So maybe I have multiple related projects updating something or different teams working together. And I want to go in and find stuff in the first database. Once I click in here, I can pick the one that I want to link. And then I can pull in some information about it, if there's any details. For example, the text fields on it, if there's a description or the user's assigned. 
now that I have some content in here, I can click on all entries and I can add a view. Now I'll have to give it some kind of name. Maybe I only want a view that shows my Confluence pages. And I have a couple options. I can make it a default, delete it, etc. And I can copy a link to it. So think of this like a saved search or a saved filter in a spreadsheet. From here, I'll just filter it however I want. I'll click on filters. And then I'll say Confluence info is not empty. And here we can see the tables updated and I can always come back to this view. So if I have different people looking at this or different themes that quickly need to only see certain information, this is a way to save it. And again, I can just grab that hyperlink and share it with someone, create more, and of course then sort and filter within that. That table view is kind of my default that I've been using. It's just what I'm comfortable with, but I could also visualize it by card. So just another way to see what I have. I can have options around the field width and the cover image if I want one, or a board. This to me is interesting because it's edging in on like a Kanban board, that kind of thing. But I can see it's sorting it here by the tags that I have. So another way to help me visualize what's in here, similar to something like Trello or a pro lightweight project management tool. And so there you have it. That's a Confluence database. Again, it's still in beta, so it requires your administrator to go in and opt into it. Once you've got it though, you can add it anywhere you could a page. So I like that it shows up in the page tree. It makes it more easy to browse and lets me very easily relate it to other content. Not only can I directly link, but it could show up as a child to a relevant parent. I could easily see using this for some lightweight tracking of things like a user acceptance test or requirements or something else that I would just use a blank spreadsheet for. On the side, I've also used things like Notion, which have the similar idea of a database to keep track of ideas or something that I wouldn't necessarily need to put in a JIRA ticket for. I could see some of this being done in JIRA, but sometimes you just need a simpler tool to help you get the job done. And that's where I think databases will come into play, at least in the short term. I'm very curious to see what other features that they have. Again, I'd love to see the ability to rename columns. So instead of it just being called text, I'd love to call it something like description or status or anything else. Uh, but from here, it seems like it's a great start. And again, having the ability to save views and filters of it makes them very useful that I can share and then quickly come back to what I need. So what do you think? Can you think of any ways you could use a Confluence database to help you or your team track your work or something else? What kind of features would you expect to have in something like this within Confluence? Drop a comment with your thoughts or ideas or questions. I'll be happy to try and help answer them or explain them. If you like this, just let me know, like it, hit that bell, and subscribe for more stuff. I'll keep publishing more content related to Confluence, project management, Jira, and other topics. So thanks for dropping in and learning a little bit about Confluence databases, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in another one of these videos soon. Mm -hmm.